Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hi, guys. <laughs> Welcome back. Great. You've caught us halfway through our unexpected 100 coin <laughs> mission. You don't need that cannon. No. Well, for this part. But I mean, it's easy. Oh, I just realized you have a... Memory pack. This is a memory pack? Yep. Page up, page down. Yep. Prince. It's got a lot of memory. Whoa, dude. I've never seen one like this before. It's a special memory pack that has like four times the memory of a normal memory pack. So you choose what page to be on. Oh. So. What page to be on? Wow. Yeah, so like you scroll through the memory and huh. each page is basically like a... I want to click it now. But. You're talking about like this little thing here? Yeah, it might be fucking dead. I don't wow. Really know. Okay, so this one right here, I, I get the... for Gauntlet Legends. If you fail to get these 20 coins right here, you might be screwed and yeah. never be able to... Are there any coins up here? I don't I think, think so. so. I think there's a ring of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chaka. Wow, we're almost done, dude. Yeah, so far this one's way easier. Yeah, thank God. That first one. Mm. Yeah. That was good fun. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. so. Oh, there's a bunch. Boof, boof. You got like nine more? Cha-cha-cha. Alright, cha cha cheeky cheeky taka cheeky cheeky Alright. Take that teleporter fan. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Alrighty, so, so let me just kill this guy. Watch or watch this. You can do a little tap da dance on his back. <laughs> what? Clear. Yeah dude. What? <laughs> Whoa. Easy. Hundred. Just like you know a lot of secrets stuff about Ocarina of Time that I don't know. Yeah, cool. Same thing for this. <laughs> Except with me. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so how many... We have two more red coins to yeah, go. Yeah, I think they're on the course up there. Yep. Fuck your couch. Alright. <laughs> oh, gotta love the bullet bills here. Hell yeah. Can you... Nerf! I don't think you can... No, I don't think you can jump on him, sadly. Nah. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. That didn't count. You got it. You got to know. God damn it! I think you clipped. I did, but I wanna. Nope. Can't. Okay. That's what I thought. <laughs> Just clarifying. It's still like, it's so. Here's one thing that's weird to me about the modern Mario games. Nowadays, in the 3D Mario games, um. Camera, why? Okay. Okay. Nice. Woo. Yeah. Um. Chup, chup. Actually, I guess it's not. You're almost done with this level, aren't you? Oh, uh, we're pretty decent amount of the way through. There's the owl one. Mm-hmm. What else? Isn't that it? Uh. Isn't that the last star you're missing? I... No, the one in the wall. Yeah, the one in the wall. Yeah, and that might be it. Sweet. We'll finish this level easy peasy. <laughs> Which one do you want to do Ooh, next? Uh, what level? Yeah. Uh. Water. Well, I mean, I like the snow level better, but yeah, might as well get Maybe the water we should, one yeah, out of the get way. Get it out of the way. Yeah, might as well, dude. I agree. You know, a lot of people complain that in modern Mario games, it's just okay. Yeah, so we're missing two stars. Yeah, which are the two we said in the wall and the owl. Yeah, easy. Um, those ones are easy to get. Dude, a lot of people say like in these old Mario games, it's like, dude, like with the new Mario games, like. You, you get dozens of extra lives. It's like, it takes no effort. But now I'm playing this one, and it's like, I have 16. Yeah. I mean, is I don't know. Maybe it's because people played them when they were younger. So That's, like, that has to be it. Mario's never been Who that was up game. there? Who woke me up? It's still daylight, motherfucker. I mean, this game is a little bit harder in a lot of ways, but that's just because it was less refined. Than yeah, the yeah. Ones. Not because it was by design to be hard. Let's see. Yeah, it's just not as polished. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like even like the original 2D Mario games are way harder than the current one. Like the new Super Mario Brothers game, mm -hmm. freaking cakewalk compared to the originals for the NES. Yeah. Good God. Though, yeah, you know, it's like in the original Super Mario Brothers, it's way harder to get extra lives. There's so much more scarce. Oh yeah, dude. There's so much more rare to find. When you see one, it's like, oh. <gasps> Whereas in the new ones, it's like, oh, okay, extra life. Okay, cool. I got like. I got like 50 of these. <laughs> I could just throw them away in the trash. They're like, they're meaningless to me. Uh, which try 
Yeah, it's the blast the wall. Blast away the wall. I was like, where are you going? <laughs> I thought you were going to try for that. <laughs> now my, you're going to try for the glitch again. My bouncy booty. Yeah, baby. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah, I like did you see that? Too. Did you see how sexy that was? You know, you can blast away this wall, too. But, uh. but there's no reason to. <laughs> Unless you're a masochist. Do you regenerate health in this game when you surface on water? Yes, you do. Okay, I couldn't remember if that was this one or... Nah, this one. N Nah, this is the... Do you do that in Mario Sunshine? I can't remember. I can't remember either. But I know it's it had to have start with started with this one. Um, Yeah, dude. That it, doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I know. It doesn't make any sense. The coins, sure, fine, whatever. Like, they could be magic coins or something. Nah. But the surfacing water? Nope. No sense at all. Okay. Can I do it? I if I know. miss this, we're gonna die. Yep. Nope, you or missed just... it, and we didn't die. Okay, yeah, you know what? Screw it. No, no <laughs> risk. No risk. Just do it the easy way. Well, there's a risk. That piranha plant could, like, come out of his little... Okay. <laughs> oh, I like this part here. This part, when I was a kid, it's like, Oh, I'm such a badass. Look at me. I'm so badass. I might fall. So cool. <laughs> and nowadays, it's like... It's a... I'm going down a waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that would be the first thing you think of when I say that. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there are things like that I did with this game, too. Nice. I mean, I was even younger when this game came yeah. out. I was seven when Banjo-Tooie came out, so... Uh, oh, did we get them all? Yep. Yes, Hell we... yeah, boy, Sweet, let's man. go to the Jolly Roger Lagoon. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, no, there's definitely things I had to have done with this game. Yeah, boy. It's, you know, I guess the best way to explain the weird... For those of you who don't know what the hell we're talking about, look up the Banjo-Tooie episode called... Waterfalls are fun! Yay! Um, Hooray. It's basically the best way I can explain that kind of s stuff. It's like playing with toys in real life, just in a video game, you know? Which one? Like, just, you know, doing the, I'm off a waterfall, ah! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, if you had toys in real life, that's the kind of stuff you do. But here, the toy is your video game character, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot of kids did that. They just, as adults, they're like, I, I didn't do that shit. I forgot about this room. Yeah, this room's cool. Again, up in the sky. If you look out the window, it's, whoa, that's trippy. Yep. When you move, the sky moves. Yeah. It's a weird sky box. Because they didn't want to make it 3D, so again, it's 2D and it mm -hmm. just rotates with you. Yeah. I wonder what you'd think of the DS version of this dude. I don't think I like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you play it on 3DS, you have a circle pad at least. It's still weird, because there's a can run button. Can you use the circle pad? Yes, you can. Oh, okay. Yeah, dude. That's better. Yeah, it's way better. Well, not way better, but it's 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 better. I don't know, that sounds way better to me, only having four directions versus... It's, well, it, it's still programmed as a game where you have to use the D-pad. Ah, oh, okay. So it's it's not like it's smoothie... If, <laughs> smoothie? It's, it's not smooth, buttery... It's not smoothie? ...well-controlling like Mario Galaxy, but it's it's slightly better. Mario Galaxy. You love that game. I know. I want them to make a new one. Would you say which is better, Odyssey or Galaxy? I like Galaxy more. Hmm. Care to explain why? I'm curious. Yeah. So overall, I think that Odyssey is like a better polished game. Objectively, Objectively it's more polished. Yeah. But I like. I don't know. One, the music in uh, Galaxy, I like even more. The, the music in Galaxy is a freaking masterpiece. Yeah. Holy crap. Fantastic, dude. Um, and then I really, really, really enjoy... Wait. Check oh. this out. <laughs> oh, there's a freaking trick you can do where you can get stuck in the fish tank. <laughs> okay, I need to try to do this. Ah, oh, come on. I can do it. Come on. Anyways, I like the levels way more. I love, like, the, that you can go on planets and mm -hmm. run around the whole planet. And I just really like the design of all of the different planets. Ah. For me, like, although I loved Odyssey. Oh, you're really close. Ah, Damn, I no. can do it. I believe in myself. Like, Odyssey was too easy for me. It's funny because a lot of people said Galaxy was too easy. Which I, I agree with. Yeah, it was really easy. Hmm. So I guess that point is kind of moot. 
I, I don't know. I guess just the levels never really wowed me in Odyssey. They were mm. cool, but they wowed me in Galaxy. Yeah. Okay. Like, Whoa, I'm blasting off from planet to planet and, you know, feeding Lumas so I can blast through space. You're feeding Lumas and watching them fly up to space and explode. Yeah. God damn, okay, you know what? Fun. Fuck this. No and, way. like, I don't think there was anything that really blew my mind in Odyssey versus, mm. like, the the different gravity on, like, if you were on a certain part of, like, a 2D space. Yeah, And if dude. you jump too high, then the gravity goes up and... I don't know, there's just a lot of cool stuff. Galaxy was just such a huge step forward. It's like, after you complete that, it's like... After you make Galaxy, it's like, well, shit, how do we advance Mario? How do we continue to wow people? Yeah, and I love Sunshine, too. Oh, yeah, Sunshine's... <laughs> a you... lot of people hate Sunshine. Yeah, I, I never understood that. Me I, neither. When I was a kid, I freaking... For the longest time as a kid, I was like, this is so much better than Mario 64. Uh, I, maybe, yeah, same. M maybe... It just felt like a way better Mario 64. Yeah, it's... Uh, I guess, I don't know how I feel about it today. Maybe if we ever play Mario Sunshine on the show... Yeah, we'd know. Yeah, then I, I guess that's true. I haven't played in a long time. There's a lot of bullshit in Mario Sunshine. Like, Is this stupid-ass pachinko game. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know you That shit sucked. And there, there's a lot of other... The watermelon challenges where you have to get a big watermelon, and you can hardly push it around... Uh, oh yeah, yeah, that's true. And the duck bill things on the shore. Oh yeah, the those were cataquacks. That's what they're called. Mm. I know there's, I know they make an appearance in Galaxy at one point. Yeah, <laughs> that was cool. Um, yeah, dude, no, it's Mario Sunshine has a lot of bullshit in it, but it has a lot of cool stuff too. Mm -hmm. Like Flood is like, oh, so cool the way I can blast away. <laughs> this motherfucker, okay. Yeah, I know this motherfucker. Mm, I hate you. Yeah, dude. I don't know, like, that being said, I still love Odyssey. I think it's fantastic, A+. Plus, wow. 10 out of 10 out of Mario. Damn, dude. What? 10 out of 10 out of Mario. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, dude, no, it's a... But, um, I just, I love fucking, uh, Galaxy, Galaxy so much. So, by extension, for me, for me, I enjoy it 10 out of 10. Mm. Like, uh, but for other people, I can definitely see how they wouldn't like it. A lot of people see Odyssey as, like, the big successor to this game, you know? Because mm -hmm. when Galaxy came out, people were like, it's like Mario 64 in space. But now that Odyssey came out, it's like, wow, this is way more like 64, because it's, like, more open-ended. Yeah. Um, There's some open-endedness in Galaxy, but I'd say it's probably a little more linear. Yeah, it is. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I don't know. For me, it's just... I, I think what mate would have made odyssey way better for me and mm. i'm not saying like a little better i'm saying way better not have 900 plus moons have like 200 moons mm. and make them each very like you know different to get or 300 moons or something but so just do it like this essentially yeah like make less moons but make them more meaningful and harder to get to uh, next time on royal goobs we continue to discuss the politics of shitty to good mario games yeah, baby.